right. Uh, yours more warm and white, uh, wet. Uh, this one's going to be a little more white and cold. And places like Flagstaff actually could use a little bit of snow. So as we look at uh, their live camera, their minimal wind at 19 degrees here for the overnight low so far. And they have a snowfall drought, just 29.3 inches so far this season. That's 32 inches below their average. They get a chance for about three to five over the next week. Uh, we'll start with Tuesday and then they get a little uh, chance here or there as we go through Tuesday into Wednesday. Let's first go over the next three days. This is a look at the winter weather impacts that we could have. Areas in orange right here, large area stretching across the northern tier. That's a moderate impact. A little bit lighter orange here for just north of Aberdeen and into Minneapolis. That's where we could see perhaps a little more impact, a major impact from winter weather over the next three days. First, we start with the weak clipper. It's coming over the icebox right now for the northern tier. This actually does not result in a lot of snow, but we're still having major issues with the blowing snow. So that just doesn't seem to want to quit. And when you talk about the blowing snow, it reduces visibility so very quickly. We still have the blizzard warning in effect that goes from Grand Forks just north of Fargo. So any travel there, be very aware of it today. We also have building in from the west, the winter storm warnings, the winter storm watch, some advisories for this storm that we're talking about, number two, and it could have pretty heavy snow potential for the area that's getting the weak clipper right now. So it just seems it's storm after storm. Heavy snow is expected for areas in pink and this area right here through central Minnesota, extending through Wisconsin to the UP. We could see some real heavy snow developing for that. So tracking the next storm here, the timing is Monday. We get the weak clipper system coming in. And then as we see that snow building back in Tuesday into Wednesday, it turns out to be wet and warm on the south side of this storm, which is something that we're going to have to watch very carefully. Uh, this right here, Steve, we've seen change even overnight, bringing a little more warmth, a little more wetness further north. That can mean more icing for some spots that don't normally get that. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.